Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Alicia Menendez. I'm joined today by Amy Comstock Rick. She is the CEO of the Parkinson's Action Network. Amy, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So, you had a recent court case that really affected the work of Parkinson's Action Network. That's right. One of our important policy positions is support, support for human embryonic stem cell research. And you may recall that in 2009, President Obama lifted President Bush's restriction and opened up federal funding under very strict ethical guidelines for human embryonic stem cell research. That was challenged in court. And at the end of April of this year, the D.C. Court of Appeals ruled in a decision that didn't end the case but was very significant that federal funding is appropriate for human embryonic stem cell research. This very exciting field of research, it's so important to so many patients that it be able to go forward. And the largest source of medical research dollars is federal dollars, so this was very significant. And so what type of people does embryonic stem cell research affect? Well, it's still in early stages of research. Embryonic stem cell lines were first discovered or derived in 1999. But there's great hope both for therapy in terms of replacing damaged cells with healthy cells, but also embryonic stem cell research shows great promise for understanding diseases and disease progression, and also for testing other drugs for other diseases in a dish, in, in using embryonic to create cells in a dish so we can find out for drugs that are, have potential whether they're harmful to, to human cells without giving them to actual human beings. And where do most of these lines come from? Under the federal guidelines issued by NIH under Pre President Obama's order, all of them have to have come from IVF clinics. They have to have been created by couples who wanted them for reproductive family planning purposes and have since completed that need, whether they no longer want children or want additional children. And then the couple has decided that their choice is either discarding them as medical waste, quite frankly, in the dumpster, or donating them for research. Those are the choices. It's only under those circumstances that federal funding can be used for lines derived from those embryos. So where is the controversy in this issue? Personally, it is not controversial for me mm -hmm. because, again, I think a lot of people ignore the fact that we're talking about embryos that were created for family planning and reproductive purposes. Mm -hmm. So the choice is the dumpster or used for research. And it is a family choice. The law does not say which way. Other people certainly disagree with that. And, uh, but it is a minority in this country. The vast majority of Americans are in favor of human embryonic stem cell research under appropriate guidelines. And so what happens next in this case? Well, next the case goes back to the district court under Judge Lamberth, who has ruled twice the other way, but we believe that the decision that came down at the end of April, the D.C. Court of Appeals, have, gi have given him very clear guidance on how they interpret this statute. And so it is certainly our hope and our expectation that the, court will, the case will now end in the district court. And do cases like this tend to rally the activist communities, the Alzheimer's community, has a huge activist group. Uh, Parkinson's, you are very well organized. Is this an activating issue? That's an excellent question. In fact, there has been a lot of attention to the case because there's great fear that federal funding would mm -hmm. cease for this very important field of research. But the way the judicial process works, there's not a lot of room. You don't petition the court. Mm -hmm. And so we did file amicus briefs in this case, and uh, along with a number of other organizations. But the room for advocacy really belongs more with the legislature, mm -hmm. not the judicial branch. And the uh, Capitol Hill has been allowing this case to move forward and I, before without taking action. And I want to emphasize that during the course of the case, federal funding has continued to go forward. So we're very happy about that. The plaintiffs were not able to stop the funding. And why is federal funding so critical? NIH dollars are the largest biomedical research dollars in the world. Uh, just in this field of research alone, last year NIH spent about $125 million, which is a great deal of money. But it's important to understand that for adult stem cell research, which is also extremely important, NIH spent over $300 million. There's great promise in this field in all areas. Thank you so much for joining us, Amy. Thank you. If you want to learn more about what's going on in your community, you can go to Comcast On Demand and click Get Local for Comcast Newsmaker. I'm Alicia Menendez.